Welcome back to Dr. O Solutions and my name is Oleg Nikishin and today I will talk to you why should you drink ozone and hydrogen water. Uh, you probably already saw my videos how to make ozonated water and today we will make ozonated water and hydrogen water and then we'll compare them and I explain to you uh, why should you drink both. Uh, but before we move on to that topic, I uh, will need to explain to you what is ORP. As you can see, what is ORP? ORP stands for, for Oxidative Reduction Potential. Uh, what's Oxidative Reduction pot Potential? As you know, there is a process of oxidation going on in our environment when the substances react with oxygen. So let's say the like rust appears on iron nails, adds oxidation. The same process is going on in your body as well. So a lot of times we need it because that's the way how we produce the energy. But if it's too much oxidation in your body, it can harm you. So you need to reduce oxidation on on put yourself on a proper level. So that's how oxidative uh, reduction potential scale, as you can see on this end. And on the far end is the hydrogen water, and oxidative reduction potential measures in millivolts. Uh, as you can see, there is a living water, there is a cod liver oil, it's about two, minus 200, there's vitamin C, it's antioxidant. And on the other far scale, you have a soda tap water and bottle water. So this is oxida oxidative process, and this is reduction process of oxidation. Uh, let's see how it refers to the pH scale. Probably pH scale you've been taught at school. Um, and uh, let me show you how it's is a references to pH. Okay, as we can see, there is a seven, which is neutral and will be ORP0. Here is the base, which is ORP minus, and there's the acids that ORP pluses. That's how it's uh, ORP, oxidative reduction potential, reference to the pH scale. So, here's an example application of ozone. The ozone, as you already know, has a very high oxidative reaction to the, all the substances. If we ozonate the water, and we will do in a minute, so how we use that? And here is application of the ORP. And here is uh, ORP in reference to PPM, ozone and water. So when we, when we get to 0 0.3 PPM, we cross 900 uh, ORPs and here is the application. So if you want to disinfect, water disinfection starts with 600 ORP. So when we get 800 then we do sterilization. So that's how the ozone uh, applies to the, to the, uh, to the process that's mostly used in our uh, commercial applications. So, but when we do need to, as I said, uh, disinfect, that's what you use ozone. So the same, same, the same uh, talking, when we drink ozonated water, we have to drink it in our uh, empty stomach. Then we disinfect all our GI tract. So that's why we ozonate the water and we drink it and with what we do inside then we kill all viruses, bacteria and we start detoxing heavy metals and other substances that not belong to our GI tract. So, but let's say uh, you drink ozonated water and ozonated water may create oxidative stress. And oxidative stress, if you don't have enough anti uh, oxidants in your body is vitamin C, vitamin E, and, uh, and other substances, enzymes, not enough, you may be having oxidative stress. So then that's why you should drink 
hydrogen water as antioxidants that remove oxidative stress. So that's why the ozone water and hydrogen water, they are complementary to, to each other. And how do we get uh, uh, oxidative stress in the body? Well, first of all, uh, that's what applies to us, it's UV light. When you expose yourself to UV light, you have oxidative stress. So we all uh, exposed to the, some kind of environment damage, um, uh, inflammation, and uh, smoking, and, and, and uh, EMF radiation, all those factors create oxidative stress. And when you drink ozonated water, uh, that's what we have another lecture, uh, how to use vitamin C with ozonated water. Uh, so the vitamin C will interact with ozonated water after all. But it's very important to use hydrogen water because hydrogen water, what will do, hydrogen water will flush all those uh, intermediary from ozone water that, that uh, ozone water will kill viruses and bacteria and as I said other heavy metals and hydrogen water because it's very light water, it penetrates all the cells and will flush all the toxin from your body. As you can see what we have quite a few uh, ways to ozonate the water and we have hydrogen water and we do have another lecture about hydrogen water. But let's start ozonating water and test it. So I want to show you uh, the results. So what we have, we have hydrogen water bottle that filled up with the distilled water and let's, let's measure it. They all fill up the same time. And here is my ORP meter. And we tested before. Let me see. Okay, let's measure this ORP. And this is ORP will pro probably go to 150. So right now 137 and counting. So because it's freshly distilled water, most of the water, what you get from a store, it's between 200 to 250 ORP plus ORP, milli, milli, millivolts of ORP. So it's in 140 and counting. So that's what we have. This is freshly distilled water. Let's start hydrogen process. We'll, we'll put it away and we will start ozonating uh, water. So for that, I'll get my oxygen tank, so we'll start, and start bubbling as you can see, so we'll start ozone generator, a medical grade ozone generator, and in, in order to, to make ozonating process faster, we'll create a vortex. This is, this is our way to enforce ozonation. As you can see, there is a vortex. So, and they're both going at the same time. Uh, this is three minutes cycle. And we'll do the same at the same time. Three minutes will ozonate, even though if you need high RPM, you will ozonate much longer. But because we have a vortex that the process, ozonation and uh, will go very very fast so it's still going as you can see it's bubbling and this is bubbling too but this is hydrogen and this is ozone pure ozone We're going in the vortex ozonate and we have a ozone destructor so excessive ozone going out and there's a destructor unit that removes ozone from environment So we finished hydrogen cycle, so it's a three minutes of hydrogen cycle we had in the, in the hydrogen bottle. And let's stop, let's stop ozonating process and we're going to measure it. 
So let me open another slide that will have a scale. Uh, this scale is good. Um, okay. Let's measure what we have in the hydrogen bottle. So it's counting. Let me. Takes time. Now it's already in the minus. As you can see, it will get almost to 300 because we only uh, did uh, one time, one cycle. So we start on a single cycle. So as you can see, it's almost 300 and it's still counting. Uh, 276 is going to probably go 300 plus. Okay, now one one remark about the bottle. This is a brand new bottle. The more you use a bottle, the higher ORP and minus ORP will create. So because membrane has to sit in the water for a long period of time. So the more you use using the water and the more you use hydrogen, the more uh, negative ORP it will make. So, so this right now, so what we have is, uh, let's say, uh, 300 minus 300 ORP. So this is equals almost uh, 12 by pH scale. So this is extremely alkaline. So another remark, if you put ozone test strips, it might not going to show you very high alkalinity. As you can see, it's still yellowish. Why is that? Because this is chemical-based uh, test. Uh, this this is electronic uh, electron-based test. So if you think you can measure ORP by simply putting pH test strips, it's not not gonna show high alkalinity. But when you drink the water. And you test your urine, you will see high alkalinity in, in your in your body. So that's why I recommend in my previous video when you drink it uh, all the time during the day, you just keep sipping on it. And then three, four hours later, you test your urine with this test strips or other ones that we have, and you will see your urine will become it will become alkaline. About seven plus seven point five. Some some people get to to eight. Okay, let's let's measure uh, what we have in the ozone water. So what I do, I have to. This is my my water container. Let's pour this ozonated water to container and measure how much ORP we we have. Oh, what do we have there? More than thousand and still counting. So if you look into it, so it's extremely acid. But again, if I put my my chemical test strip, it might not gonna show me extremely extreme acidity. It will show the same neutral 6.5 to 7. But look at the ORP. So it's now it's 1100. Or piece. So when when we go to to this scale, we can, so as you can see, up to 1,000, we will. This is already almost 2 ppm ozone dissolved in water. 2 ppm is water sterilization. So you can use it uh, for sterilizing your equipment or your your surface or your hands and and do everything else. So, but this is ozone in the water is not going to stay for a long time. Ozone in the water usually stays with a room temperature about 15-20 minutes and will start dissolve its own activity. So, going back to our uh, to the point I tried to make. Why should you drink ozonated water and hydrogen water. 
Uh, as you as you saw on this uh, slide, they are in opposite scales. So first in the morning you drink an empty stomach ozonated water. You drink half half a half a glass or full glass, you sip that water and you wait for about half an hour. After that you drink during the day hydrogen water and hydrogen water will flush you all the toxin since in excessive oxidation created by ozone water. That's how you use it and you will be uh, very happy with it and uh, your urine will become uh, alkaline. That's all for this video folks, so and I see you in the next one.